Welcome to Streaming the Likes and welcome to a new video, my friends. So today again here in my personal challenge to upload every single day one video and not just uh, some some gaming clips, some gameplay clips or something like this, but a real video that gives you added values, guys. So I'm doing this for you and yeah. I think it's now the fourth day, so I was already uploading on Sunday and on Saturday. So this is, yeah, this is the new video here. And we're going to talk about, my friends, about your collection. I think this is a very important topic. And before we jump into it, my friends, we will, uh, I will, uh, I will make a stinky uh, comment pickers the giveaway at the end of this video and I hope you're going to uh, stay tuned for this and if you want to win make sure to comment like and subscribe and then you can win one of those games down below in the pin post in the commentary sec section very very easy guys so all right let, let's go directly here in the in the library so I have the problem so you see this is my library guys so this is my library and you see all my games for example Aliens Fire Team is a game that I play at the moment and I will jump directly into this game because it got a nice uh, new patch but this is the library of uh, all my games and if I am uh, showing now to you I have like 3756 uh, games or so this is what Steam tells me with the games I have really really a big big problem actually guys uh, you can imagine to 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 find my games again so so how how does someone with so many games how does someone with so many games organizes his games so this is yeah you you do this by creating collections and i already created some collections so i have for example my favorite collection so if i click now for example on drift force i can add this to favorites here you can see at to favorite then this would uh, this game would come here in my favorite collection you see here all my favorites and then i have a beat em up collection that i was recently creating this is a this is, is a so called um, uh, a so called literal so yes so that's a so called dynamic collection so if you click on the on the question mark this is a dynamic a collection of a uh, group of titles and they are automatically if uh, if if steam thinks like a specific game isn't a beat em up for example then steam is putting this game there and of course you can also add games uh, in a in a in a manual way to this so here you can see for example beat em up street fighter i don't know why i have street fighter 5 here i think i can take this out Otherwise, Street Fighter V is not in my collection, so probably that's the case. So that's very weird. So Steam doesn't know Street Fighter V is a is a is a beat 'em up. Yeah. So here you can choose those different uh, different uh, uh, genres, and then you the different tags, and then you can uh, put them to your dynamic collection. It's very simple, very simple. And then I can choose uh, choose them to organize them alphabetically. I can organize them to uh, our uh, games that are friends playing. So only games that friends playing at the moment. No, probably none, none of my friends plays any of those games at the moment. And then percentage of the achievement completion. So for example, Tekken, uh, Remember Me, Dust, DMC. So this, this is actually really, really good to see. You see how many achievements uh, you can still get so also a lot of games uh, that don't have achievements oh i i just make last played or i'm i organize them due to the hours played i mostly organize them due to the hours played all right let, let's go back to the collection let's go back here so i have a beat em up collection i have for example a demo collection so those are demos that that i download only the ones that i download and then I have an EA Play collection. This is definitely necessary in case you have EA Play. So I recommend you to make this collection. Then I have the games I need to finish collection. Then you find, for example, a Witcher 3, a Dirt 5, Destiny 2, Dark Souls 3. So really, really cool, good, good games. And I really want to finish them. But you also find games like The Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I'm waiting for a stronger PC to finish those games. Probably most of these games, Mr. Orange, I will never finish. And then I have a collection with all the games that are installed at the moment, locally installed. And then you see, for example, my Alien Colonial Marines. I have locally still installed at the moment. And uh, yeah, sorted by hours played, but I can also sort them by last played. So installed and last played. So I think this is a pretty cool collection, actually. So this is the best way how you find. Uh, it's also a dynamic collection 
that's the best way how I find actually the games that I recently played and I wanted to pick up again because sometimes you play a game then uh, one week uh, is passing by and you totally forget to pick up the game again and you because you sometimes you just say oh yeah, yeah I'm playing this I just wanted to try it half an hour and then you come back uh, to your PC and you totally forgot this game and you already start playing another game so this happened for example with the Dark Sides Genesis for me happened for me with Resident Evil 3 or with Terminator Resistance Life is Strange. So those are games in July that I played and I still want to play them now. Well, uh, guys, let's go back to my collection. So then I have, yeah, that's a key mailer. So games that I get from key mailer, the same Steam Curator video. Those are games that I get from my Steam Curator group. You can see the, uh, this is mostly indie games. Uh, most of those games I haven't played yet, I have to say. So I really have to play those games. And then I have this big unplayed uh, collection. So this big unplayed collection. So yeah, you cannot sort it off, obviously, due to the time I played, because I have never played any of those 2000 games. And it's crazy. This is the this is the pile, uh, how you say, pile of shame? Is it the pile? No, the backlog of shame, pile of shame. I don't know how you say this. And then I have my VR collection this is also a dynamic collection so i find all my vr games so this is actually really really cool if i want to find a vr game that i haven't played a lot so random games videos so those are steam those are keys that i get uh, sent by email from from developers and then i have my racing collection so this is not a dynamic collection this is a a collection that I made myself and therefore I think it's the most cleanest one because they are really nice racing games and the, those racing games that I actually wanted to have there so of course you can also kick some of those um, games out of the dynamic collection so this is no problem yeah guys so this is uh, my collection and uh, for you how you organize them how you create them so you cr uh, click then on create a new collection so you can just give it a name ABC for example ABC collection, create new collection. Yes, show collection. So now we are in the ABC collection. You can still change it if you want. Here you see the number. Uh, besides of the name, you see the number of the games that are inside. And as I said, you can even uh, uh, organize them, sort them due to the Metacritic score or the Steam Review crew, uh, score. What I also like is actually if I go on my if I go my installed locally games and I'm sorting them due to the size on the disk, then I, if I don't have enough space on my on my hard disk, then I'm I know which one I can uh, erase now. For example, I say, yeah, you never really played the Red Dead Redemption 2 online version, so it's not even the full version, and it's 120 uh, gigabytes. So so why would I still keep this? So I've never played this, so time to time to get rid of it and t install so that's that's what you can do all right guys so i think i gave you uh, some information here and i hope it was useful and therefore we will stop this video now i don't want to make too long videos anymore i think it's uh, better to have them precise crisps and therefore we're choosing uh, one of my latest video uh, a winner and the winner is and the winner is citizen swarm Ahoy. I don't know if you have ever won my friend Citizen Swarm. Write me an email to gamingwithmrorange at gmail.com and then you can pick one of the Steam keys down below in the pinned post in the commentary section. And yeah, that's, this is how it goes. And guys, if you want to participate as well, then also make sure to comment, like and subscribe. And then uh, the next time it's for you. And I will, of course, up tomorrow is Thursday. So then the weekend starts already. That's awesome. So I will definitely upload again a weekend video then for tomorrow. So thank you very much, guys. See you next time. Bye bye.